is Alejandra Friedman and I am a Human Resources Coordinator at Neville Grouping. I do have a nickname. Uh, amongst my family, I'm usually just Alex or Ale. Um, and that's about it. But usually when I introduce myself, um, I always say my name is Alejandra, um, just because growing up, um, it was always, I feel like hard for people to pronounce my name. So I kind of just always say, oh, I'm Alex, I'm Alex, until I got older and I was like, okay, we're a pretty di diverse uh, state and um, I'm pretty sure that I can say my name's Alejandra now and people will at least try to pronounce it, so. As a human resources coordinator, um, I'm pretty much in charge of being that go-to person for employees, whether it be office, whether it be field, to um, reach out when they have questions, whether it be benefits, whether it be uh, payroll questions. Um, I also coordinate, um, help coordinate trainings, um, pretty much anything that involves making our employees have um, the resources that they need uh, to be able to do their job on a day-to-day -day basis, as well as just things that they don't maybe have to worry about, you know? They're very busy out in the field making sure that our projects are being completed, making sure that we're in compliance with things. So me helping them, you know, uh, with their medical claim, um, something as simple as that, it's pretty much just making sure that, you know, that those things are taken care of for them. Um, so I'm just a resource for them um, for, for different things, you know, involved in, in, from training to benefits to maybe just a day thing. Somebody needs help with something that's maybe not work related, but I'm there to help. So I've been with the Neville Group for two years. Um, so since September of 2020, they just truly make you feel like, hey, if you don't know something, whatever, there's everybody's very helpful. Um, and even though we're growing and growing every day, uh, it's, it just keeps becoming a larger and larger family. Um, you make friends here, um, aside from, you know, your coworkers, some of these coworkers become your friends, become people that you go out on the weekend to get coffee with. And I think that that's very important because it's, you spend most of your days at work. So why not have a friend there too, you know? Um, my day to day consists First, checking emails <laughs> to see what I have and my calendar, see what I have going on. Um, from there, I will, if I have emails regarding benefits, whether it be, you know, enrolling employees in benefits, following up on things, you know, benefit um, related questions, uh, coordinating trainings, uh, sitting in on trainings, recording trainings, and pretty much it's every day is different. Uh, there's things obviously reporting compliance things that you know our depart the human resources department needs to take care of and that I assist my supervisor with but then I feel like every day is different because there's something different every day um, whether somebody's asking me for assistance with a payroll question translation as well um, whether it be office or whether it be field um, onboarding office employees or onboarding field employees if I'm filling in for the person that usually does the onboarding for field but I think every day that's is so different that that's what makes my job very interesting and very, I appreciate it, that it's not consistent, every day's the same, you know? It's just, it's just you look forward to, hey, what's gonna happen today, yeah. you know? Whether it's a fire, you'll put it out, it's okay. <laughs> what I like most about my job is the interaction I have on a day-to-day -day basis with uh, the employees. I really enjoy the rapport that I get to build with my employees, with the employees of NGI. I think it's important that they know and that I know that I can trust them and then they can trust me in whatever they need that I'm there. Um, if I'm not available because my doors, my office doors closed, that they know that, hey, I can send you an email, I'll give you a phone call and you know, all the hunter will get back to me. Um, that's what I enjoy the most. I think that human interactions and human relationships are very important for every human, regardless of what industry you're in. Um, but being able to be that person and people say thank you for something as simple as giving them the phone number to uh, uh, a resource, you know, or as easy as like, hey, I, I need my insurance cards. Can you do that? Or I need training. What can I, that is to me, that's just the most, the thing that I enjoy the most about this job is just being that for someone. 
the advice that I would give anybody that's entering the construction industry is that construction is not just building things or, you know, the project management side of things. There's a lot of background, you know, work that has to be done in order to get your normal, you know, day-to-day -day things done, whether it's payroll, whether it's IT, whether it's our procurement, you know, purchasing department, uh, our lean, you know, a team, uh, HR team. Uh, so there's always room for you to grow and learn different things that are not just specifically to construction, if that makes sense. Um, there's the opportunity for you to maybe come in as, let's say me, I came in as a receptionist and then I transitioned into HR. But there's also been situations here at NGI where an employee starts at one position and then goes into a completely different department. And I think that's what's neat about the construction industry is that there's many pathways that you can take. You don't just have to go into project management or building or being out in the field. You can, you know, if you have an interest and something sparks your interest, uh, ask and see what options are available to you and what training you can receive to go into, you know, s something else such as IT, such as procurement, such as HR. I think that's what's neat about this industry is that's not just one set of, you know, titles. It's a variety of them, a variety of different departments. My motivation for getting up and coming to work every day is I think learning something new every day. I have a very great supervisor and team that teaches me something new every day. I learn from my supervisor just as much as I learn from you know anybody that else that's on my team, whether it be office coordinators, whether it be the talent acquisitionists. And then I learn from our estimators, from our project managers, from our IT department, from our procurement department, uh, from our field in particular too. Um, I think it's just knowing that every day I'm going to learn something new and that I can help someone. Uh, I think if I go every day just helping someone achieve something, you know, with whatever resources that they need, I'm, that's enough for me to be like, okay, it was a good day. I helped someone with something as simple as maybe translating, as simple as just giving you your medical ID cards. That's what motivates me every day to wake up is being able to just help the people that I work with. When I was little, um, I had a couple items, you know, a couple career paths that I kept on saying I was going to do. And the first was uh, an immigration lawyer. Um, when I was probably in middle school, um, I come back, I, my background is my, both of my parents were immigrants at some point. Um, they're U.S. citizens now, but I grew up pretty much seeing the struggle of being not qualified to work certain jobs of being a translator, my sister and I at very young ages because our parents didn't speak English. So being that middle person from between your parents and pretty much life in general here in the US. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna be an immigration lawyer. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna help people. And then I was just like, that's a lot of work. <laughs> and I don't know if it's in like what it's gonna take. And financially, my parents can't help me pay for school to be an immigration lawyer. Um, so that was one of them. Uh, another one was, uh, a flight attendant, which is completely different than, than, <laughs> than a, a lawyer. But I think it was the fact that I was like, okay, I get to help people. I loved fly, I loved traveling. So I was like, okay, I get to travel, I get to help people. Um, and then I, when I actually started college, there was a change in majors a couple times there. Um, I started as a communications major, then I switched to Spanish. Uh, cause, but then I was like, I don't want to be a teacher, but I still want to get my degree. So I minored in Spanish and then I ended up doing, um, human services, uh, which is social services, um, just helping people in general. I knew that whatever I ended up doing, I just wanted to help people and be able to bring relief to some of the people when they f maybe are struggling to get the resources that they need or communicate what they need. Um, I knew that I just wanted to be that for someone. I believe some of the struggles that the women face in the construction industry are mainly following, falling into that admin role. I feel like we ourselves and maybe society in general says, hey, like you'd be a great uh, admin assistant or you'd be great at payroll. 
um, and we just kind of follow into that and, and don't really question it. Um, and I think that's like the main struggle that people assume that we are good at that, doing that and they assign us tasks associated with those roles, even if maybe sometimes we're in project management. Um, you can be a project engineer, you can be a project manager. Uh, let's say you're on a, on a project and you're the only project you know, manager there that's a female and there's gonna be an event, let's say a celebration, birthday celebration for somebody. They, I feel like it's very automatic to assign uh, the tasks of organizing that celebration to a woman because it's assumed that she knows how to do it and she will succeed at it, succeed at it and men won't. Uh, so I think that those are some of the struggles that we kind of just get assigned tasks because we are women, we're assumed that we can do them better, you know, and get them done. I think even just struggles within ourselves, like questioning, it's, 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 it's a tough industry maybe at times for that, with respect, with regards to that. But I feel like us, we need to believe that we can do it and, and take the steps necessary to do it um, and take advantage of opportunities. You know, if, if we're offered an interview for a specific position and you know that you're gonna be the only woman uh, interviewing for it, like still take that interview. Still, you know, show them what you can offer and not initially just right off the bat be like, oh, you know what, I'm a woman, I'm, they're not gonna give it to me. I think that us ourselves you know, we have to be um, a little bit easier on ourselves too and, and believe that we can do it.